What's good, fam? It's your bro Kwame B here, and welcome to Kwame B Reviewing, the food review show where we always give you the real deal on all the food we eat. We are unbought, and we pay for everything we eat. So if it's trash, it won't pass. But if it's good, then I'll let you know it's what you should be eating. On this episode, we're kicking off our Orlando pizza tour. Let's get reviewing. I'm not a big pizza person anymore. Sometimes it's like a lot to eat. I used to eat whole pizzas by myself. I eat, that's how I got to this size. I would just eat whole large pizzas on my lonesome. And sometimes you slow down whether you want to or not. So here I am. And they got a bunch of different choices for pasta entrees, different Italian dinners they do here. It's certainly not just pizza here. This is like an Italian, it's just like an old style casual restaurant. It's certainly not like a modern casual restaurant. You know, it's not what you expect. Where, I mean, you can order counter service for yourself and take it to go, or you can sit down and order. Maybe it's like a lot of New York style pizzerias run. It's very Italian American. So sometimes I feel like they do too much. Right, because if you're making pastas and you have all these different type of pastas, there's no way you're making anything like super fresh or from scratch. Like you might be making sauces from scratch, but the pasta is not going to be that fresh. You have to pick and choose because you're doing all these pastas and you're doing chicken piccata, chicken parmesan, eggplant, calzones, and strombolis, subs. I don't know, to me, it's a large menu. I'd be overwhelmed by it. And I have no idea how one small kitchen can put out that much food or that different type of food and it'd be good. But unfortunately at this point in time through the show we've found in our experience that's not usually a good thing. But that doesn't mean that they won't do it well. Especially you have a team of people that have been here for a long time that know how to execute at a high level and that can push the ante. So we'll wait and see. This place has been here for a while, yeah? Over a decade. Well over a decade. So I'm excited. I think this will be good. I've never been here before. I've lived, I've been worked in this area for years now and never once have been here. So we'll see what, what, what we got going at Old Del Dio. I will say off the top of my head, I love a garlic knot with a ton of garlic, a ton of butter. If you put Parmesan on it, I'm here for it. All right, so this is going to kick off our side battle that we'll have during this tour, side battle garlic knot. Let's find out who also has the best garlic knots out there. And maybe it's not, you know, it could be very well that the person who has the best pizza does not have the best garlic knots. Even though a lot of times garlic knots is made off of the same dough that the pizza dough is being used off of. Let's see, I like it, a garlic knot to be not overly dense, a little firm, but have that light fluffiness to it, be warm and airy. Should have a powerful garlic flavor. Definitely a powerful garlic flavor there. I actually like the salt content. It might edge a little bit too salty, but it's actually really, flavor-wise, I like it. I think it, you know, I wouldn't, there's a lot of garlic in there, which is good. It could have more for me personally. The issue that comes for me, it's like the dough is overworked. It's a little too tough on the inside, so it's like chewy and not, not you don't get that fluffiness area. And it's, that might have to do with how small it is. It's like a small button. Could not, I don't know. Boom, all right. This is, these are some decent sized slices. Certainly not the biggest slices of pizza ever, but these are, you know, decent value for a 250 a slice. Is that what we were at? Excuse me, 295 a slice. 295 a slice. That's probably the going rate for something like this. So, cheese, pepperoni, specialty pizza. Let's get into it. Pipe it, huh? Oh, okay. You can see the crust here. It's really firm, so it's gonna have a nice crunch to it, a bite to it, similar to like the garlic nuts, probably. One thing I don't like seeing, the pepperonis aren't crispy. I like a good crispy pepperoni, or at least have some crispy edges. So. And it's really greasy, which means the cheese probably isn't the highest quality. Doesn't matter. Doesn't mean the flavor won't be. It was really hot, so I'm gonna give it a, another bite in a second. But the flavor I did get from it was just, just basic. It did have a really nice crunch. I, I like the crunch because it gives you like a texture layer with the pizza. The cheese obviously is soft, the top bread is soft. The pepperonis are unfortunately soft, but. I actually think the sauce is fine. It's not overly acidic, it's not overly sweet. It's got a good balance to it. I probably can use more seasoning because there's not a lot more flavor other than just like that tomato paste-like flavor there. Okay, this is just the cheese. Yeah, just okay on that one. I mean, there's nothing really special. The cheese is not the best. It's not super melty, so it's not kind of congeals really easily. You kind of have to chew through it. 
And again, the sauce, because the sauce is not special on its own, it's not really giving me anything to write home about. And it, you know, because if you're having a cheese pizza, you gotta have a really great sauce, good quality cheese, a great crust. I do like how they bake their crust. It's kinda, I, I actually like this, this hard edge on the bottom. That, to me, that's pretty, I like that, but everything else doesn't really do anything for it. So let's try the specialty pizza. This looks like a, looks like a Philly cheesesteak to me. Yeah, this looks like Supreme with no olives, which is the way to do it. I could also do without the peppers. Are these canned mushrooms? I think those are canned mushrooms. That's not good. Let's do it. This big piece of sausage here. I'm going for it. There's no flavor, no seasoning in anything. It's like incredibly bland to me overall. Yeah, not good. Pizza at Lake Yola. Feed the gang. It's like a place, I mean, you're literally called Pizza App. Or maybe that's just the name, Pizza App. And maybe it's so, is this a chain? Pizza App has to be the name. It's because they're Pizza App probably wherever they open up Pizza App. Lake Yola. So the name actually makes sense, especially if you're opening multiple locations. I'm cool with that. We'll see, but we got their, their version of a slice, which is just a personal pizza, which is like a little boat slash flatbread looking pizza. So we'll see how that comes out. First things already came out. We got the cheesy bread, which is their version of garlic knots. Since they don't have garlic knots, we sub this in. It's really hot. You see all the smoke coming off of that? That will scald my mouth for days. I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, initial thoughts on the cheesy bread here. <laughs> not enough garlic, not enough salt or seasoning entirely, but the bread is, is nice, the crust is nice, it's got a really crispy exterior and then it's you know, kind of soft on the inside which is really nice. It has a ton of cheese, which is great if you like that, it's like a huge mozzarella stick. I just think it needs more salt. If it had more salt incorporated into it, more garlic, I think that would make this like a really, really good cheesy bread slash garlic not substitute. More salt, more seasoning, but it lacks that like heavily. It needs that all, it needs all of that. All right, this is their version of a personal pizza in this little boat. We're gonna go in with the cheese. These are really thin slices. There's not plenty of flavor I'm getting there. The cheese is like really soft. I don't, I don't know why it's so soft, but it's almost like disintegrating. It's not doing that nice like cheese melt. It's just like disintegrating in my mouth. Not enough actual seasonings, too many herbs. Heavy like oregano, thyme, basil in there, so it's like a, a kick in the mouth. But definitely eatable. All right, here's the one that was recommended to us. This one is the carnivore. Basically a meat lover's pizza, pepperoni, sausage, bacon, some ham chopped up on there. I mean, the meats are okay. They've actually got a little bit of sodium content to this and salt content, which helps all this out. But this sauce and this cheese still is like lacking flavor. I just don't get it. There's like a really little amount of flavor in there. All right, pizza at Lake Yola we just finished up and I got a little competition across the street we just found that we're gonna check out. Metro Espresso Pizza. Let's get reviewing. Big flat Metro Espresso. Metro Espresso. Pizza, Italian cafe and rest. Pizza cafe and Italian restaurant. We got their cheese pizza slice, a big New York style slice, their Metro meat pizza, which is an everything pizza. And we got the garlic knots. This is it, the garlic knots. That's what it's all about. Big, fluffy garlic knots. I can just feel it. Hopefully they're not super dense on the inside, but teeming with butter. It's all about, well, maybe not teeming with butter, but there's butter on there. 
some kind of oil. Garlic knots first, knot up. It was dense on the inside. But to be fair, we kind of knew it would be. They were already all baked when the window when we got here and they're just warming them up to order. All right, so the dough's overworked on these. So they're not as like light and fluffy as they could be and probably should be. Definitely big, they got that side. They got a, a decent coating of like garlic butter on them. I can use more garlic here. I, if I want a garlic knot, I want to know that it's garlic forward. Garlic is the first thing that you just put in a knot. Like hit me with the garlic. Too many of these places are holding back and trying to cut corners and save money by using less garlic. Put it in there, put it forward, like let us know that is garlic bread. I should get a mouthful of like really great garlic flavor. And there's a lot of things you can do with garlic to make sure you don't have like this strong, sharp, spicy like flavor to make it just a really great garlic flavor. Anyway, that didn't happen here. All right, moving on. Pizza, let's go with the cheese. All right, this one's actually evenly coated with cheese from the top of the slice to the bottom. That's pretty cool. Thin, thin layer of sauce underneath, let's do it. I think this is overall a better quality cheese than most we've had so far today. Again, it just everything here is lacking some flavor, some salt on there. Even if you just gotta sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on top of the cheese pizza and then put it in the in the broiler or put it back in the oven, that would be amazing. But just some little bit of salt here and there would really bring this pizza to life. It's actually a pretty good quality cheese. It toasted up pretty nicely. There's almost no sauce on there at all, so it kind of is just like a harsh cheese taste on the back end. All right, this uh, seems to be the cheese pizza with just a bunch of the meats thrown on top. Pepperoni, we got ham, sausage, bacon. Oh, it is salami, I was right, and salami. All right, let's just do it. I don't get it. It's the same cheese pizza just with a couple of meat thrown on top and then thrown into the toaster. Nothing actually melded together. The meats aren't truly one. They didn't get any type of toasting on them, any type of, of crisp coming to them. It's just regular fatty cured meat. So and it's just kind of an unpleasant bite on top of the cheese pizza, which has no sauce. I don't know who forgot to put sauce. They put so little, I mean, you can barely taste any sauce on this thing. It's not good. And that's all you're gonna get from me on that one. All right, fam, so that's gonna do it for part one of our... <laughs> All right, fam, so that's gonna do it for our first part of the Orlando Pizza Tour. Have you been to any of these places that we checked out? Did you agree, disagree with us? We always wanna know your opinion. If there's places that you think we should hit, they may or may not be on the list, let us know either way, because we got a lot more pizza to get through in this city. Like, comment, subscribe, show us some love. If you like what we're doing or there's things we could do better, we wanna know that too, give us your feedback. But until the next time, be well, eat wisely, and we'll see you on Kwame B Review.